it was the other night. I'm sure that this is, you know, just the way softball works. You're on the other side of that right now. How does it feel? Well, it feels a lot better on this side. I'll tell you that. Um, I, it literally felt like the reverse of the game on Thursday night where um, they had a lot of the momentum um, and then it just kind of turned like a little bit and, um, and then we never really gave it up again. And, uh, so I'm just, I'm really proud of this group, um, because that Thursday night game just kind of crushed us, you know? Um, and then even to, to respond after yesterday, um, they just continue to show a lot of character and, um, even at the start of the game, you could have easy, easily, <laughs> you just kind of folded it in, but they kept fighting and found a way and, um, I'm just really proud of them. Georgia's a really, really good team. Really, really good. Um, so I'm just really proud of them. I know you all are all huggers as it is, but I saw you and Kylie have, I don't, I lost count of how many hugs y'all had on the field after the game. Just how happy were you for her to have, she said it was her first ever walk-off home run in college. Oh, well, goodness. Um, she must just not have been that situation. She's too good of a hitter to have that be the first one, but I, you know, I just, um, was really, really happy for her. Um, and, and I just have a lot of joy for them when they have those moments. And so, I don't know, I think I hugged her like seven or eight times. That's not too many. Right. Um, so <laughs> I'm just really happy for her and it's such a big moment to step up for your team. And, um, she, you know, coming home to that huddle at, at the, at the plate has to be one of the best feelings ever. So pretty cool. Um Last thing that I'll ask, it was just a game. It felt like of a ton of momentum swifts. You know, um, Hannah hits that home run to tie it, and then it looks like Georgia's probably going to take the lead back. They have runners on the corner with no outs, and Janice strikes them out, and you turn a double play to get out of it. How big was that, um, that whole sequence? Oh, well, huge. <laughs> huge. It's, uh, you know, when you tie it, and then they they go hit back-to-back -back hits. Um, when Shanice had really kind of controlled them since the third inning, um, and they get back to back hits with no outs. You just, um, obviously it's not an ideal situation. Um, it's not how you draw it up, but, um, she got a huge strikeout on Kuma. And then that was just an exceptional play by Tina. Tina played really, really good at second. She also got that play up the middle that I feel like that was like the start of the first momentum shift. Um, and those are just big time plays. Um, and I, so I just, I mean, they're huge. And I thought Shanice showed a ton of guts today. So I'm, Really, really proud of her, um, the way she competed. Thanks, Courtney. Mm -hmm. Probably. Speaking of hugs, it's been a frustrating season for uh, her. And she got the home run to tie it up. Just just talk about the joy on her face and her teammates' face uh, when she got all of that and got it out. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what her vertical was um, before she got to first. But when she saw it go out, um, I think she might have heard old Lenny at first, but um, yeah, just joy. And, and I, I think what we saw a little bit too was an exhale. Um, and uh, it was just a really big moment, really big moment for Hannah and for her to, you know, get that hit for her team and, and for herself. Um, you know, I, I, I just think it was a really big moment for her. Um, it was huge. Also huge crowd, uh, great support uh, coming out for the last game. Just speak on that a little bit. Oh gosh, our fans are, are incredible. Um, and I, I think our environment's the best in college softball. Um, and I know it sounds like I have a bias, but that's fine. <laughs> they're, they're so great. And a full bogle, I would put it up against anyone. Second highest attended game. Second highest attended, attended game, really, really huge. And they stuck with us, um, because the, the start of the game wasn't pretty. Um, and they stuck with us and, and they got a really, really good finish. Um, so I uh, wouldn't trade our fans, our stadium, our environment for anything. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Jason? Could you talk a little Eric? bit about the momentum going into the sixth inning? Could you feel it like within the crowd, also in the dugout, that you know they really haven't you know, quit or just you – know, just felt like, you know, maybe just this might not be the day. You really feel like the team just kept trying to dig and dig and dig and trying to get uh, that momentum back today. Yeah, yeah. And I think that um, Macy, their pitcher Macy, spins the ball really, really well, and it stymied us a little bit. Um, 
And so, you know, when, when she comes in and gets, you know, a few strikeouts, it could easily deflate you. And I just felt like we just kept staying the course and, and, um, kept taking hacks and, and, uh, and so I, I, I just really liked our resilience today. Um, we never threw it in. We could have thrown it in early the start coming off the last two games and the first few innings. Um, it just really didn't feel like anything was going our way. And, they, I didn't feel like they were squaring Shanice up, but that's a tough offensive team is finding holes and, and they just kept finding them. And it's just like, Hey, just stay the course, keep doing what you're doing. And, um, and so the resilience and the toughness they showed today, um, was huge for this team. Thanks coach. Mm -hmm. Eric. Shanice, speak to her because she gave you a chance, you know, cause you were on the ropes there for a little bit at the, not a great start, but she kept you in the game and allowed you to stay in there and with for your offense to respond. Yeah. I mean, she has a ton of guns and, you know, when we have her on the mound, we have a chance. That's the kind of pitcher that she is. And even more so she stayed the course when she felt like she was making good pitches and they were finding holes. And I mean, after the third inning, I'm like, okay, tell me what, what you feel like what's working, what, you know, where's your spin at? And, and Lauren does a really good job of honest feedback. And she's like, I, you know, I feel good. I feel good with all my pitches. Um, and I go, yeah, they're not squaring you up. Let's just stay the course. Keep, keep trusting your spin. Um, and we'll keep mixing. And, 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 and she did, and it, it could have easily, honestly, Eric, after Thursday, um, when you have that feeling and then the start of this game, um, a lesser competitor would have thrown it in to be really honest. And, and she just stayed the course. Um, she fights every pitch she fights for this team and, 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 and she gave us a chance and our defense had her back and, and our offense stayed the course and let the game come back. So um, Shanice has a ton of guts. Do you feel this group, because it's a young group, we kind of keep forgetting it. It's a young group. They haven't been together through all these adverse situations. You mentioned how heartbreaking the Thursday game is. Maybe this group, maybe it was a little hangover. Did you feel they had to kind of figure it out themselves to find a way to win a game like this that could be a turning point moving forward? Yeah, I, I do. I do think that this team is a have to figure it out yourself kind of team. You know, it's a, um, I think that's the, the youth that we have is, um, is experiencing it themselves. Um, you know, we can give them the information, they could take it in and then they, and then they still need to experience it. And so, um, I think that that's huge that they could get to that next level and grind and, and find a way to beat, but, you know, what I think is, you know, the toughest team we played all year, that offensive lineup is nuts it's nuts and uh their pitchers do a really good job um and so i i um i keep saying and i'm just really really proud of our resilience and our fight throughout the game and then lastly obviously speak to the win in the game did you feel starting to turn a little bit because i know you were interviewed during the game and you were talking about what we needed to do to come back but it, it wasn't looking great did you sense a moment a play and we're in the dugout it started to change yeah, well, I do think that uh, Tina's play up the middle, the diving play that she got the the play at second, um, was a huge momentum shift for us. Um, I don't remember exactly. I don't know if we scored that next inning, um, but we competed a little bit better. We got a couple runners on, I believe. Um, we didn't get them in, but we got a couple. I think the Reagans got back to back hits, um, and and so you just start to see, okay, okay, kind of each time getting better, and that's all we could keep saying to them is just just grind to be better the next time, just grind to be better the next time. And, and, and they did. And, um, but I think that was the first momentum shift where that little spark where Tina got that play up the middle was such a huge play um, to get us out of that jam. Um, that's the, that's the one I would pinpoint as the, as the shift. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Dustin. Yeah. The other night, Kylie Macy kind of had you guys' number. And then today, for a minute, she did until she didn't. What was different today? What enabled you to make the adjustments that ultimately you beat her? Good question. Did you ask Kylie that? And Hannah? No, I'm just kidding. Um, you know, she had her she had our number early. She spins the ball really well, um, really well. You can see the ball float. Um, and and so I think it was just really fighting to get on type on top of it. Um, she's the type of pitcher that can kind of get in your head a little bit by. I mean, the rise ball is in 
I mean, it's in this game to make you make a bad decision. I know everybody that hasn't played, they look and they're like, why are you swinging at that? Well, it obviously looks good, you know? And, and so she spins it really well to where you chase and then she, she puts one in there. And so it's, it was just, you know, keeping our discipline and, and making her come down in the zone and really fighting to, um, to hit the center a little bit more on top because of her spin. But, um, I, you know, I thought she did a really good job. Um, I think she's a lot better than even her line says to be, to be honest. And I think she just keeps getting better. I think they do a really good job. All right. Thank you, coach. Yep. Thanks guys.